Hi everyone, welcome back. This is The Bent Netter. So this week we're going to go into a review, but this one is not going to be of Yarn. It's going to be of an app. Um, the app that we're going to be taking a look into is called Stitch Counter. I've always wanted to do more of these review of apps, so this is going to be the first of hopefully many. Um, like I said, the Stitch Counter is what it is called. At the end of the video, I'm going to add add on a little video of me playing around in the app so if you ever wanted to take a look at it before you download um stay tuned for the end of the video for that so this i am really a pretty big fan of this app it's one of the apps that i've used most commonly when i'm knitting and i need a counter app um probably why i love it so much is that it's very simplistic um, it just is basically you can have multiple counters going at the same time and you can actually link them um, So it's just a stitch counter app. So it's just You tap it once and it increases and you can swipe and it will decrease So the pros, pros of it is that it's very simple easy to use if you just want something to Count your rows or count your stitches. This is a great app to start. It is free to download um, there are ads running at the top of the screen So it's free, but there's ad ads all along with it um, But like I said a big pro that it is so simplistic if you just need something to count I would recommend it the only cons about this is one or two and they're kind of minor cons is one there are ads There's no way to kind of get rid of the ads. So if you don't mind the ads running It's perfect. Um, I kind of wish that you could for like 99 cents, buck 99, something like that. I wouldn't mind paying them to get the ads removed if you're gonna use it a lot. Um, not that it's hugely distracting, but it'd be a cool thing just to give them a little bit of money to take the ads off. And I'm actually kind of surprised that there hasn't been that function introduced um, yet. Um, another con is that I wish that there was buttons for the plus and minus for the stitches. Um, just because sometimes when I accidentally add too many, it can be a little bit hard to decrease just when you're swiping it. Um, there's a little trouble of where to press it to actually decrease. You do have to, it's more of a swiping motion instead of just like a tap to decrease on like the left part of the, the screen instead of a right. So that's kind of my only complaints. They're not major complaints. Like I said, I do use this quite a bit and when I am making my, like if I'm needing to count anything, this is kind of my go-to app because also it's on my phone, it's everywhere I am, so it's nice and convenient. So go check it out. Like I said, um, in addition to the video at the end, I'm going to have a little um, additional video of me playing around the app so you can kind of see how it works. Um, if you have any other apps you want me to review or take a look at or you might find that I'm interested in, let me know down in the comments below and let me know what you think of these review, uh, reviews. And I will see you next week. Bye!